Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites. We come out week in, week out to prophesy the downfall of America, as well as wake up you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to your true nationality, which are the Israelites, the 12 tribes of Israel. First and foremost, we want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushat. Double honor to the apostle of Great Millstone and salutations to the Akim out there pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Come on, man. So like the brother said, man, we out here every week to prophesy against this wicked kingdom, man, it's against this wicked uh, society known as America and against all you other nations, man, including our own people, two-thirds of our own people, man, not only just letting them know that they're Israelites, but that two-thirds of them are going to die, man, okay, that they're going to perish in the famine, and they're going to perish by the sword and by various other uh, plagues and judgments of the Most High sins on the planet Earth, man. Okay, we letting you know that the RFID chip is the mark of the beast and all its associated technologies. Yes, that's the mark of the beast rep, rep, uh, mentioned in Revelations, man. Okay, and everybody, anyone else who's teaching uh, contrary is a fucking liar and a false prophet and the Most High is going to destroy you, man. Right. Okay? So, uh, brother, go ahead, bring that out, man. All right. This is 2nd Edges 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord and cause them to be written in paper when they are faithful and true. Right, man. Okay, so like like the scriptures say, man, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, man. All right, because that's how the Most High deals with not only his people, but the worst, the rest of the world, man. All right, he sends his prophets out. They write the words on print and on paper, all right? And, and whoever takes heed is, is delivered, and whoever doesn't take heed dies, man. All right, that's how it's been since the foundation of the world, going back to Adam, man. All right? The voice of the Lord walking in the garden in the cool of the day, man. Who's the voice of the Lord, man? The voice of the Lord is his prophets, man. Okay? Motherfuckers uh, come up here with, with, the, with their vain arguments. Oh, how, how, uh, oh, how, how you just going to stand out here and read uh, from, from, uh, from a book that's written on paper, man? That's written by men. How about you throw out all your other books, man? How about, how about you just don't learn how to read and write? If that's a problem, man. Maybe you should go, maybe you uh, damn devils who come up with that argument. Maybe you should go back to the dark ages when you didn't know how to read and you was picking fucking ticks out your grandmother's brain, man. That's right. Go ahead, bro. Verse 3. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Right, man. Let not the incredulity of them uh, trouble thee, man, that speak against thee. So we don't really, we don't really care too much when our people come against us, man, we don't really, we don't really get angry. We get passionate, you know, for the sake of the word, man. You know, because that word does kindle that fire. But at the end of the day, man, if you don't want to believe, you don't want to. That's fine by us, man. We don't care, you know, because all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. The words of the Lord, they stand sure, man. Okay, we got the, we got the, uh, the more sure word of prophecy, man. All right, the Most High has made us able ministers of the New Testament, man. Okay, he, he's, he's uh, meted it out by his spirit, prophecy, tongues, te uh, the ability to teach, the, uh, the ability to minister, the, uh, the, the word of wisdom, man. Okay, that was done by the Lord, man. Okay, so we trust in his spirit, man. We don't, we don't uh, really care if you don't believe, man, because you not believing is not going to change uh, anything, man. Martial law is still coming. Motherfuckers falling out the truth this late in the game. Guess what? Martial law is still coming. Yes, okay, you still under the curses. Right. All right, the RFID ship is still it's still going to be implemented worldwide. That's right. All right, World War Three is still coming. Go ahead. This is uh, Revelation chapter nineteen, verse ten. And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Right, man. So the angel told the angel told John that uh, I'm thy fellow I'm thy fellow servant and of thy brethren the prophets, man. Okay, and that the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. All right. So when, when it comes to Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right. When the spirit of Yahweh Shai dwells on you, how y'all doing? How you doing? I'm an Israelite. Okay. That's right. That's the tribe of Manasseh. God. Manasseh. Yeah. You. Right. One God. Right. God. That's right. I don't know. Yeah, that's got worse. Oh, okay. He ain't got the. 
Uh, he still got, you got to get rid of that star, man. Get, get that in, in, in Amos. That's, uh, that's the same about the, uh, yeah, about the, uh, that, that star riff ram, man. You got to get rid of that star on your neck, man. That's an idol, man. You hear me? I know the word, bro. If you know the word, why are you wearing that then, man? You know that's, you know that's idolatry, right? You know the most high going to destroy you if you keep wearing that, right? So you need to take that off, man. You may not do it now, but I advise you. Look what the Bible says. The Bible says don't judge. The Bible, the Bible does say, say don't judge, judge, man. Bring that out, man. Don't judge, man. The Bible says God don't judge. Only right. God could judge. All right, let's read what the Bible says. You believe in the Bible, right? I believe in the Bible, right. and I know the word. All right, cool. All right. Bring it out. There's only one God, man. Right, one God. Word, one God, bro. Hear the word, word, man. This is what the word say. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of the Most High, but they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things. He that is spiritual don't judge? But he that is spiritual judges all things. He that is spiritual judges all things, man. Right. All right, so yeah, the Mosai has given us the authority to judge righteously out here, man. Okay? And we're not doing this. We're not, we, I'm not saying this to hurt you. I'm not saying this because I don't care about you, all right? I'm not saying this because I hate you. Nah, man. The Mosai said that if you cling unto idols, you're going to die, man. All right? That's what the Lord said. I didn't make that up. All right? I got you, bro. Acts chapter 7. Acts 7 and um, 7 and 43. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ye took up the tabernacle of Mole and the star of your God, Rimfan. Right, man. So back in the ancient world, there was a certain idol, there was a certain false deity that was associated with the star, which is Saturn, man. Okay? Saturn worship, planetary worship, man. Okay, and the Most High said that that's idolatry, man. You're not supposed to cling uh, and worship uh, the host of heaven, man. All right? You're supposed to worship uh, Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shai, man. That's what's written, man. Okay? And there's there's disputes in Israel about whether or not uh, that star is, is associated with idolatry or not. But guess what? The fact that it is and the fact that it could offend or cause another brother to stumble, you still ain't supposed to be holding that shit, man. Go ahead. Uh, uh, seven, uh, Acts 7 43. Yeah, you took up the tabernacle of Mola and the star of your God, Rimfran. Right, the star of your God, Rimfran, man. That's why the Most High was fucking all people up, man. Because they was worshiping all those other idols and gods, man. Go ahead. Figures which ye made to worship them. I will carry you away beyond Babylon. That's right, man. And that's why people went into slavery, man. You wanted to worship the idols, all right? You wanted to worship the sun and moon and the stars, all right? You wanted to, you wanted to, uh, you wanted to be a, a goddamn astrologer and shit. The world did most high put you under captivity under the, the main chief uh, astrologers in the ancient world, which was the Chaldeans, man. All right? And they was whooping our ass, man. And if I could say, hey, bruh. You say you're Israelite, right? Yeah, I'm a real Israelite. So the fake Israelites, that star, that's what they worship. That's what they that's what they use, man. That's demonic. That's a demonic um symbol that they use. So we gotta get rid of all that shit. Yeah, we we you know, we we grow in the street. We all from that nation. Nation. No, no, we 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 the true Israelites. They 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 Esau, man. They Esau, and that's what they worship. Right, that's what the main Esau and Jacob. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And you know it ain't you know we ain't, you know but that's how we got we gotta wait you gotta let you know if it's wrong you can't do it man you know. All right, bro. What's up, bro? Is there Nah, he was worse. He was worse. He was worse last time. Boy. He came. He came, he came up there. Yeah. He got it. You know. Yeah, but it's but the Lord. Yeah, man. Go ahead, bring it out, bro. This is this is. This is Exodus 20 and 1. And Yahweh spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me, for thou shalt not make thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in, the, in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the waters under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them, for, for I, the Lord, thy power, am a jealous power. All right, man, and that's, again, going to that point about idolatry, man. 
That's 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 against the commandments of the Lord, man. Period, man. There ain't no need to even break that down, man. Don't don't make any images to bow down to them and to serve them like those other heathens who's doing. Right? Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation generation of them that hate me. Right. And that and that's why our people was under the curses, man. Under the Babylonians uh, and, and throughout the book of Judges, like every other chapter, we was in a different captivity, man. Right, because you know why though? Because a nigga want the easy way out. You know exactly. what I'm saying? But the, 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 the scriptures tell you that the commandments are not grievous. They they for you to do good unto you, man. But niggas don't want to be under the constraints of the Heavenly Father. They want to be under the constraints of Satan, man. And that's why we kept going into captivity. Because the, the Most High said, I'm going to be your king. I'm going to be your leader. But they said, nah, we want to set up man over us. So the Most High, you know, he a mocker. Go ahead. And look, look, look what state we done come to, man. Yeah. Uh, what was, yeah, what was that? We had a precept, though. Which one was that? Which one was that? Come on, bring it out again. Back in Revelations, chapter 19, verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant. And of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, worship the Most High. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Right, the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy, man. All right, so if Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is dealing with you on a high level, you're supposed to be out there prophesying, man. Okay, that's that's what it is, man. And and, and then that, that that's a good precept uh, to show that uh, you got you got physical angels. And then you got the actual angelic angel, man. And that angel, like, like, like he said, he said that he was one of John's brethren, man. So who are the angels? The angels are the Israelites, man. Okay, we're the sons of God. That's it. And I can say this, and that's a clear-cut indicator to tell you who got the truth. Because uh, brothers under the banner of GMS are the only ones that prophesy. Nobody else is prophesying. If they prophesy, it's up. You know, we're gonna. Rule, which is prophecy, but they they not telling people about the mark of the beast. Right. One of the main prophecies, you know. But that's a clear cut indicator who got the spirit and who teaching in the truth. The brothers at GMS. Why? Cause we're the ones prophesying. Second edges back at second edges fifteen and um uh, uh, three. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the it the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Verse 5, Behold, the Lord will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Yea, the Lord said that he's going to bring plagues upon the world, man. The sword, the famine, death, and destruction, man. Martial law, food shortages, man. Okay, people just dying of various diseases. Thermonuclear war. That's what's coming to the planet Earth, man. Okay, and it's gonna it's gonna be really big here in America, man, because America America is the hub of wickedness on the planet Earth right now, man. Okay, it's already happening little by little in these other nations, man, but it's really gonna culminate here, man. All right. Verse verse six: For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Come, man, wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole world. And the, and the whole earth, uh, their hurtful works are fulfilled, man. All right, and that's why these things are, are going to uh, come to pass, man. Basically, the Most High said that he's done being long-suffering to the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction, man. All right, time is up, man. That's pretty much what it is, man. Time is up for America. Time is up for Esau. Time is up for Moab and for Ammon and for all these other heathens, man. And time is up for two-thirds of our people, man. All right. All right. The, the time, the new, the new world, all right, the new, the so-called new world order, man, is going to be under Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the elect of the nation of Israel. That's right. 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 It's not going to be no goddamn Rothschilds, no Duponts, no Gettys, man. Ain't, you know, ain't going to be no no more uh, Rothschilds. No, it's going to be Esau number one, Esau number two, number three, number four, number five, man. That's right. Just like cat. God. <laughs> you got something up? Yeah, get this. this is 2nd Ezra chapter 8 verse 50. 
for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Right, man. Many great miseries, man. Many great miseries. You people are you people out here are gonna suffer, man. Okay? And that that's not only goes for uh for the, the wicked, but to the righteous too, man. Okay, because the scriptures say that in great tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of heaven, man. That's what's written, man. So so in these last days it's gonna get harder and harder and harder and harder, man. Alright? But it's really it's really for you you prideful, wicked ass motherfuckers out here, man. That don't wanna repent, that don't wanna take heed to the Lord, man. That's what it's for, man. It's really for America. It's really for Esau and all you other prideful nations that think that nobody's gonna bring you down, man. And let's get down to verse 55. And therefore ask thou no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. For when they had taken liberty, they despised the Most High, thought scorn of his law, and forsook his ways. Right, man. So when they had taken liberty, going into two-thirds of our people, they despised the Lord's law, man, and forsook his ways, man. That's why when two-thirds start getting killed out here in mass numbers, man, ain't gonna be no tears shed, man. Okay? You can't be crying and, and getting getting a soft heart for two-thirds of our people, man, because they a bunch of wicked-ass niggas, man. Verse 57, moreover, they have trodden down his righteous, they trodden down the um, prophets time and time again. Verse 58, and said in their heart that there is no power, yeah, and that knowing they must die. God, they said in their heart that there is no God and knowing that they must die, man. You, When you die, you got to go and meet your maker, man, and he going to give you the judgment, man. You know, you our people know, man, our people know that that uh, when these prophecies come to pass, man, if they don't repent, they screwed, man. Our people know that. They just they just don't want to take heed because they so stuck in the here and now, man. You know, I done heard it all my life, man. They always trying to find excuses so they can continue on in their wickedness. But as, uh, also as um, 2nd Ezra chapter 15 say, they unfaithful. Because it says that they said in their heart. They might not have said it to man. They might not have said on their Instagram or Facebook. But they said in their heart that there is no power. They don't believe in shit, man. A lot of our people don't believe in nothing, man. They feel like these scriptures um, are void. They feel like these prophecies are void. They, they don't believe that there's no power. But verse 59, For as the things before, before said shall receive you, so thirst and pain are prepared for them. Right. For, so thirst and pain, man. All right? Our people are going to suffer. Uh, from, from lack of water, man. To die from to die from drought, that's a terrible death, man. To die from famine, that's uh, the scripture say, better is he that die by the sword than he that perish by famine, man. For it was not his will that man should come to naught, because the Lord made the earth to become for pleasure, man. It's supposed to be a paradise. Verse 60. But they which be created have defiled the name of him that made them. It were unthankful unto him which prepared life for them. And therefore is my judgment now at hand. So Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, the judgment is about to come down from Yahweh by Yahweh Shah. It's, a, it's, it's, it's at hand. We're seeing it. And that's why the Lord said be occupied in prophecies. Because if you occupied in prophecies, you see that the chip is here. You see that um, Russia, uh, which is Gog, um, Gog and Magog in the scriptures, which is also... Um, the means and the scriptures, you see that those um, countries are rising up against America. So you see that these things are going down, so now we can see, yeah, the, the, the most highest judgment is now at hand. That's right. 